Everybody left me. I'm all alone. Okay, no, I still have Timo, but... Oh, the sadness. The sadness. However, not to worry, while Jory and Lorenzo are on a well-deserved holiday, we are still going to make an awesome effect for this week's Copycat Friday. Do you know Macro Room? Well, we're gonna recreate this effect from him, where he punches a water balloon mid-air in slow motion, and we're gonna do this in Premiere Pro. So stop wasting time and let's get punching! Now you probably all know Macro Room. He's an insanely creative filmmaker with some awesome slow motion effects that will make you think twice on how he did it. And these effects are what we really love. A challenge to recreate, but when it works out, oh so cool. Now I do have to say, through the entire video, you will see Jordi and Lorenzo helping out. Well, don't be confused, they're still on a holiday, but we shot the B-roll and the effect shots for this video two months ago, so they were still here and could help us out. This way we could keep our deadlines possible while both of them were on a holiday. Now let's fill up some water balloons and start shooting. Special Cinecom dance. Just a minute, folks. Janik here for Storyblocks, the place to be for all your stock clips and video assets. Did you ever wanted to create your own travel video but had no money because you just bought a new camera? Well, with Storyblocks, you can go everywhere in the whole wide world and this all in 4K resolution. Heck, that's even better than my own eyes. But what now if it's raining and you want some cinematic drone shots? Stop pouting. Storyblocks has you covered with the most cinematic shots you ever saw. Or are you afraid of insects, just like Timo there? <coughs> Have no fear, Storyblocks is here and has a lot of insect close-ups and much more creepy crawly shots. Now we all have that project where the software is being a real Karen. Not to worry, Storyblocks has Premiere Pro and After Effects templates that will save you so much time, you're actually going back in time. Whoa! But wait, there is more. If you order Storyblocks, you only have to pay one single price per year for unlimited downloads. That's right, you heard me. One single price per year for unlimited downloads. So don't miss out on this once in a lifetime deal and go to the first link in the description below. Oh my. Now, on with the show. Because we built and shot everything two months ago and we already broken it down, that's why I'm standing here in this empty studio. But let me tell you what you need for this effect. As said, we have this simple black backdrop and a table. Then as lights, we are just going to use a key light and an overhead backlight Again, super simple. Then of course, we're gonna shoot everything from a tripod and most importantly, we're gonna shoot in slow motion. For us, this will be 240 frames per second. And I know not every camera has this possibility, but try to go as slow as your camera can go. Then for the shots that we need. First one is going to be a shot without a table. Here we let our talent hold a water balloon and let him do some acting. First, they fake to puncture the balloon, then they drop it just before the needle can touch it. And of course, try to catch the balloon, otherwise you're wasting a perfect balloon. And everything will be wet. Then in the same shot to follow up, the talent is pretending to hit the balloon mid-air and this all in one fluid acting performance. For the second shot, we're going to reintroduce the table and hang the water balloon right in front of the face of the talent. He can now really hit it on the exact same height as he did before. And that's really important. Really important. The two separate punches need to match in position. Now for the last shot. Here we are going to hang a water balloon 
on a string positioned in the top part of our framing. This means in front of the face where the talent used to be. The only thing we then need to do is break the balloon with a needle and film the water dropping on the table. Something to pay attention to is when you break the balloon, the water drops as a blob just like this here, so the actor has something to punch mid-air. And that were all the shots that we needed. Transition. We have all our shots and now let's create a cool effect in Premiere Pro. The first shot is going to be our talent holding the water balloon. Place this in your sequence and because we shot everything in slow motion, we first want to make it normal speed. For us this means we are speeding it up with 800%. We are going from 240 frames per second to 30. However this number will differ from the percentage you are going to need, it all depends in which frames per second you shot. For example, if you shot everything in 120 frames per second and are going to go to 30 frames per second, then you are going to need to speed it up with 400%. Quick maths! He's a genius. After speeding up our clip, we now have a clip playing back at normal speed. Then we are going to look for the point where our talent is mid-punch and are going to make a cut there. Next we are going to add our second clip, the one where our talent really punches the balloon. We let this clip start mid-punch and also kept it in slow motion. The key here is to make the hard cut as invisible as possible, so you really need to look for the point where the two punches matches the best. Once we have synced our two clips as good as possible, let's remove the balloon from both shots. The first one is where the talent is holding the balloon. Make a duplicate of the clip and nest it. Then we are going to look for the point where our talent just releases the balloon. On this point we want our new nested clip to start, but we also want to freeze it. So here we are going to add an add frame hold. Next we delete everything left of the cut and end the clip where the balloon is off screen. Now we just create a feather mask which we animate to follow along with the dropping balloon. This way we remove the balloon in front of our talent's body. Now let's remove it from their face. Again make a duplicate of the original clip on top of everything and nest it. Now we are again going to add an add frame hold, but this time on the point where the face of our talent is completely visible. Let's also make it the right length and start on the same time as our first duplicate. Next add a feathered mask just around the face and nothing more. The last step is again duplicating the original clip and nesting it. And this time we are not freezing it. We are using this duplicate to bring back some movement in the talent's face. So create a feathered mask just above the talent's face and over time let it move downwards together with the balloon. And if done correctly for all three clips our balloon is now removed. Next, let's remove the balloon in the second clip and this is going to be easier. We just took a small part of the first talent clip and placed it over the second talent clip. Then with a simple mask we remove the balloon. And that's it. It doesn't need to be super precise as other stuff and other clips will cover it and mistakes won't be visible. Look at that, our balloons are officially gone. However, the next step is adding balloons. Editing is a weird process. So we selected everything and nested that into a new clip. On this new clip we are going to add the final details for this cool effect. First we added a small time remapping to the clip. When our talent is punching we increase the speed a little bit making the punch more intense. This will also help to hide the hard cut. After speeding up we of course go back to normal speed. Then it's time to bring back the table for the first part of the shot. For this we took the clip of our talent really punching the balloon. We laid this on top of everything, increased the speed to normal playback speed and just added a mask around the table and that's it. Now the last but one of the most important steps is adding the dropping water. We took our third clip which is the exploding balloon and added that to our sequence on top of the other two clips. Then we looked for the point where the balloon starts to explode and this is the starting point of our clip. Next up we adjusted the blending mode of our clip to lighten and now we can sync the two balloons. First we match the timing of the needle hitting the balloon and the exploding of the other balloon. Then we adjusted the position of it to match each other. Next we also animated the water blob's position to match the hitting point of the punch. Then the very last thing you need to do is create a feathered mask on the exploding balloon clip to remove the table and other unwanted stuff. Maybe do a fade out on the end of the clip and bada bim bada boom you are done. That was it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this very cool editing magic trick inspired by Macro Room. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, thank you Storyblocks for the support, and as always, 
Stay creative. That that will blah, blah, blah. This way we woo <laughs> woo 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 woo. The set is gone. Create a all your blood for all the blah, jongens. So have no fear, Tim. Uh, Timo's here. <laughs> Whoa. Tory blocks you. <laughs> but wait, 